Hey everyone, it's me again, anyway, Black Swan, and I'm back again with another video, and this is gonna be Get Ready With Me slash review, because I'm gonna be trying out a new foundation from ColourPop. This is like a long time coming. This is their Pretty Fresh Hydrochromic Hydrating Foundation. I probably butchered that. And then of course i'm gonna be styling i don't know but i don't even think i really need to style it because she's kind of like low-key already done but this is the hair i had in a previous video this is the desore hair this is the 5 by 5 24 inch deep wave so this is how it looks like we'll see how everything turns out at the end of this look we'll see if i can get myself together or not but um yeah you're gonna see me go ahead and put myself together from start to finish with this new foundation let's see if she's worth it let's see so what they sent me was the hydrating illuminator and the foundation so i'll go ahead and do a swatch of the hydrating illuminator and then i just honestly i want to see how the foundation performs by itself and uh we'll see how that goes okay oh i kind of like this illuminator because it actually is kind of thick and creamy it's not all shimmery um so it's giving me it's giving me like the becca it's like giving me the becca found illuminating foundation kind of feel you know what i mean you know what i'll do one side of my face with the illuminator and then the other side of my girl look at me coming to coming together with the ideas i don't know we'll see we'll just see how it goes okay so this is the foundation by itself i clean my hand off so it's foundation by itself and it is like a medium consistency it's not super thick so i'm i'm predicting it's like a medium coverage i don't know i i should have but i really don't have um i didn't look up like all the details of the foundation i didn't already want to have like a pre-existing idea in my head on how this foundation is gonna work oh why am i going far why am i going over to that's on my face i'm just gonna do the side I'm starting to get a little sh girl. Hold on. Come on, color pop. Girl, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. This. I wonder if this is buildable. I wonder if I can make this. I like this foundation. I'm looking at myself in my big mirror and. This looks like skin. This looks like skin. Skin. Oh, so that's how y'all wanna do? Y'all just wanna come out and do flesh tone colors for the girls? I didn't have to mix it or anything. Mind you, the only other foundation that I have not needed to fix, I mean to mix, to, to do voodoo to, is this one is my morphe is my morphe f460 that's the only one that i can put on straight out the bottle and i don't have to do nothing to it it looks exactly like my skin tone and my skin tone can be tricky because it has a red and gold undertone i am a black woman from tech from chaos okay so sometimes companies they be missing it i look too orange or i look yellow or i look ashy so i have to mix like a cool tone and a warm tone together but this girl okay all right so this is the illuminating this is going to be the illuminator and i'm going to put on this other side i need to get a clean brush Oh yeah, this is the illuminator. And it smells clean. Like it smells like a like a like a soap. It doesn't it's fragrance, but it smells like a soap. 
So here's a foundation brush. Okay. So this one, um, I don't recommend using it by itself. So this, this is definitely a twofer. So I guess if you want to have a more hydrating, this in the girl, it feels light. It feels like I have on no makeup. Okay, so you non makeup wears, if you're dipping and dabbling into the field of makeup, this is a good one. This one I will highly recommend to you. This foundation, it feels so light. It feels super light, and you don't even have to put it on as heavy as I did, because I put mine on kind of heavy, child, because I like the whole face. And I guess this is gonna give me more of a glow, like a real soft glow underneath the foundation. You really can't see it on camera though, the, the, the illumination. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna put the, the actual foundation on top. Or I guess I could have mixed the two together. It oxidized very nicely too. So that's another plus because for my stuff, my foundations, all of them will oxidize. As you can already see, like this side is already settling in and this is the first side. This doesn't feel cakey at all, either side. It doesn't feel cakey. So if you do want to do the double, if you want to double them up, I think that's fine. Um, I don't think I would recommend this for like um, skin that's like heavily oily because it's a hydrating foundation. So it's not going to, it's it's probably going to crease up on you later on in the day. I'm thinking. Let me see if y'all can see. Let me zoom this in. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Unless you really do like the the tone of it and you want to get it for color sake i will probably use setting powder or some type of pressed powder underneath and then put the foundation on top and then try that out so i'm going to go ahead and use this born to glow concealer i'm about to run out child okay so the born to glow it's a radiant concealer too so this product that i'm using is probably not oily skin friendly so if you do have oily skin i'm not sure if this idea would work but i would try the foundation with the setting powder or pressed powder underneath first put the foundation on and then for the concealer i would use the elf 16 hour wear camo concealer because that is way more mattifying and it would suck up more of that oil throughout the day. Let me go ahead and jump off and add some eyebrows and then I'll come back on and then finish the freaking look. Okay, I got my eyebrows on now. So I'm gonna start setting my face. Before I put the powder on, I did go back with my foundation brush just to buff out all the creases just so I can make sure I'm not setting in any creases on especially around my eyes because you know I got creases and whatnot around that area um so far I am still rooting for this foundation I'm just really happy that this worked I was kind of like feeling like girl I don't know when I first saw the bottle because in the in the bottle I was holding up to my neck and I was like okay I don't know girl she look a little orange but when I put it on perfection while I'm talking I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring with my Maybelline fit press powder in the color 360 mocha so what I noticed helped um my oily and dry spots in my not oily well yeah i did have some oily it just depends um what's helped with my 
combination skin to make it a little more consistent all the way around is I started to exfoliate with nothing really particular um, because I have a lot of random exfoliating products. Uh, I do use the bags that the face mask and um, face spa care packets that you can get from uh, Target. You know, like you go to like the bath out or whatever like that and it's like it's just a bag and it has like um, charcoal mask or exfoliating cream, um, exfoliating face wash or whatever. Um, so nothing too particular. The last one I used was um, for like skin brightening and pigmentation. It don't brighten my skin, it don't clear pigmentation. I just need to get the dirt off. So I'm really not paying attention to, you know, what it claims to do. I just get it for, you know, the the texture and I just go ahead and rub it in and exfoliate my face with um, with that. But I always, I always switch those. I always will change those up. So I'll get that and then I'll exfoliate my, I'll take my makeup off with a makeup remover like a wipe or like um, an actual liquid makeup remover. I always do that. And then I'll exfoliate with whatever exfoliating product that I have, nothing in particular. And then I'll wash my face with nothing in particular. <laughs> Cause I do, I bounce around a whole lot with different products. So, um, but as long as I use, as long as I do those steps, I notice that my skin performs the best. I don't know if it's gonna work for you, but I know it works for me. Cause I, I do have stress breakouts a lot and I start to break out a little bit because I just have my period so then I'll do that I'll then I'll wash my face and then I'll moisturize it but the moisturizer I usually use a face milk from Colourpop can you see this is the coconut one so right now I just got the coconut one so this is what I've been using but it's always like a face milk that I'll go ahead and rub it on it doesn't have a heavy residue and then it feels very refreshing and they smell really good too i am using the makeup revolution satin lip pencil does it say the color it does not it just says r291 and i'm using this i like it because it goes on real smooth and there's a lot of pigmentation in it oh yeah this is the make i love revolutions i heart chocolate lip gloss and this is the color honeycomb so I'm not even gonna do lashes, I'm just gonna do mascara. <laughs> this look is is good. Okay, so what I did was, ooh, girl, I put this man down on too tight. Look at my creases. Okay, so that's gonna go away. Y'all go down. So I'm just taking this foundation brush. I'm just gonna the lens, some more lens, and then this powder. Make sure my forehead is gonna look like it's different. Okay, so y'all see why I don't like doing middle parts? Look how big my forehead looks. It looks like I got a lot on my mind. Girl, my forehead looks so long. <laughs> I could levitate. It looks like looks like I can read minds. <sighs> oh, it looks like I could start a fire. Just about think, girl. <laughs> this is why I don't do middle parts. And I'm really mad because this wig is laid, but baby, this forehead is like she laid with. Baby, phone home, phone home. It's all right though. It's all right though. My husband still love me. Big forehead and all. He swear I don't have a big forehead, but baby, yes I do. Yes I do. 
it's nothing wrong. Ain't no shame of being in in knowing your 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 weaknesses and your strong points. I mean, girl, it's okay. I mean, just put a swoop in it. Like, it's all right. It's all. Look at me talking to myself. It's all right. It's okay. There we go. Let's see, put a little swoop in it. Play a little swoop and you're good you're good you're good and this hair you can see a new tangle net zero zip a nada okay and um i wet it i wetted it and uh then after i wetted it i put my garnier fructis sleek and shine to give it, to, you know, keep it conditioned and luxurious, you know. Like, oh yeah, I didn't do anything to my lace. The lace just came like that. This wig is legit. So, so I'll go ahead and tell y'all. Okay, so the wig, um, it has the combs and the adjustable straps, of course. And that's how it looks from behind. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was. If it wasn't. Oops, sorry. So yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. Thank y'all for joining me, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.